crying and staring at me now, huh? Do you want to come up? Come up. My aunt just left. So my aunt came over just to see her place because she's never been here or seen it. Or seen pictures either. I didn't send her any pictures. Um, so it's the same aunt that um, I was talking about yesterday. So we went to see her place yesterday. Obviously, our living room is a lot bigger than hers. Um, she also has a hallway in her place. That would also, like, it makes it look smaller because she's got a hallway. And, yeah, so we were just talking for, I think she came here at 5.45-ish. And we just spoke for, like, an hour and a half or so. She left at 7 what time is it? I don't even know. I can't. There's no clock. We haven't bought a clock yet. And I really need to go buy one. And I think we have decided that we're not going to move over to her place. And her place is a lot more expensive because it's like the downtown area of the next city over. <clears throat> so it. I think she's renting it out for how much is that? So one of the girls, there's two girls living there, one thousand three hundred, and then the other one is one thousand two hundred fifty. So that's almost two thousand six hundred. And she said if we move there, she could probably only give us a discount for two hundred dollars less. And that's more than here and plus we also have to get another parking spot there and so we pay parking spots for like $75 each and there we would have to get one and it cost a hundred dollars for one and she doesn't have a pantry whereas we have a pantry and we just have more space because we don't have that hallway. Um, with hers, it's a corner unit. And then there's a new building being built right next to it. So it's basically blocking our whole view. So, yeah. Not the greatest. Well, it's going to be downsizing if we do move there. So, preferably not. And I have been looking at, like, townhouses and just bigger three three bedroom apartments but also like i've been looking at places and nothing really seems great and the market is doesn't seem like it's gonna be going down anymore it's kind of just staying here it did go down a little bit this year but i'm like i'm hoping for that drop but that you know that drop will never really happen just because the area that we're in it's it's upcoming so there's a lot of buildings being built right now oh i just thought it's seven o'clock it's eight o'clock right now oh man i wanted to go over to shoppers to pick up a package at the p.o box and then pick up some eyelashes because I want to do something with them. Oh well. And for dinner I got pizza because it's gotten too late. Um, I think Vince is getting off work now. So I ordered the pizza and he's going to go pick it up when, and then come home. And I still have to take the dog out. She hasn't gone number two yet. But she's gone pee. Oh, and um, Martini popped her balloon, so there's no more balloons for her to play with now. So when I was looking at townhouses, oh, my phone is on. Um, I looked at like the street just across from us. Well, not across from the street down there. If I point, you don't even know where I'm pointing at. Um, so just the street. I guess it would be yeah down. Or up. Whatever. Um, so 
I was looking at them and there was this one townhouse, three bedroom, it was so nice and it was cheap. So I told my aunt, this, this was a different aunt, another aunt, um, about it and she said, yeah, get it, like, um, because it was only $740,000, which is really cheap for a townhouse, because townhouse is around $800,000, ish and... <clears throat> So she was the one that got kind of alarmed by it because it was so cheap. And I did some Googling and then I found this Facebook group kind of thing. Not, it doesn't, not really bashing. It's just saying like the bad stuff that's been happening around the area in the strata. So apparently there's like criminals that live in that strata and then your mailbox is always be um, broken into which is not great if you want to start a family there yeah but the house was so nice it would had um, really high ceilings with open concept um, living dining and kitchen which I really like like that is what I would go for we're kind of sad that it wasn't in a good neighborhood but I feel like a lot of neighborhoods in Vancouver are not that great I mean we have like one person that lives on our floor I don't know what he did but I saw him with his ankle monitor for a few months I don't know or maybe he still has it. I haven't seen him in a while. Um, I don't really go outside. So I don't really see anybody. I got pizza. <coughs> and cheesy bread. There's no cheese on this part. There's no cheese on this. What? The edge doesn't have cheese. We got a deluxe Hawaiian and a veggie korma. No, I only took her out for like 10 minutes. Because we were waiting for my aunt because um, she called me saying that she's going to be here in 10 minutes. So I did stuff for five and then we went down. But I was rushing so I didn't put on a coat on her. And she didn't even want to walk outside. She never want to walk. It's rain. It was raining. I don't she know never if it's raining. Walk. Walk. So keep it out every day. She doesn't want to walk. I have to force her. She's fat. She's oh, 18 easy. pounds. Oh, easy to know where I've seen that guy. Okay, so like, you know what I'm playing? I only control one guy. And that's the guy right there. I don't control the whole team. I just control one guy. That's why like, when I score and stuff, it's like crazy, you know? Like when I play and stuff. It's And I'm a striker. I'm the top scorer in the league already. I have like, it's, I've only played like 30, 30 games and I got like 50 goals. Most of my games I get hat tricks. Look at that. Look at that. Look, ooh, ooh. I should have passed that ball, but you know, I'm, a little, I'm a little selfish of a striker, you know? It's all about me, it's not about them. Mm -hmm.